Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sportsman Night News. I'm Joe Borg, and this is going to be another NHL series preview to the playoff series between the Carolina Hurricanes and the Nashville Predators. This one is definitely going to be a fun battle of the goaltenders and defense, especially more so for Nashville, the battle of the goaltender with the more inconsistent defense. Soros saved the bacon in the second half and a battle of a great defensive system, along with the fact that all of their goaltenders played well. In a handful of games, Mrazek played well, who was banged up this year. James Reimer had one of his uh, better seasons this year out there in Carolina, having a 2-6-6, a 9-0-6 save, and I believe he was a 15-5, and along with Nedeljkovic, who were both, I believe, 15-5 and on the season. But Nedeljkovic has a 190 and a 9-3-2 save percentage, where the veteran in Mrazek, the other veteran is a 206 and a 923. I wouldn't be surprised if they decide to go with a vet because they're a veteran, but even though in past videos <clears throat> I always tend to lean to the team with the more veteran um, goaltending, both of these teams have a lot of uh, younger cats and net. Um, Soros himself is only 26 and hasn't really been thrown into a full tenuous playoff situation before where he's used Pekka as a security blanket in the past. This year is really his team. I think he's going to have a good series. I think that's the reason why this will not be a sweep. But unfortunately for Nashville, I mean, they're the 22nd ranked. They're in the bottom tier of ranked offenses for a reason. They're 22nd in goal. Uh, their shooting percentage is all the way down at 21st. Their power play doesn't make up for it. It's 24th in the league. Um, where to compare that to Carolina's, they're 11th in goals. They have a great defensive team, but they also are 11th in goals, 12th in shooting percentage. Their power play second in the league. And then they're pretty solid 5-on-5, five five, but they make up for it being immensely great on both ends of special teams where Nashville doesn't even have that going for their game. Uh, Carolina's third on the penalty kill and second on the power play. Nashville's all the way down at 29th on the penalty kill and 24th on the power play. So I feel like because of the strength of UC Soros, and the goaltending of the Nashville Predators combined um, with the fact that they do have some veterans on defense that are going to step up and play really well. You're going to see Yossi, Ellis, and Ekholm all have a very good series in the postseason. All have pretty good um, seasons, a little bit of a downer. Uh, you don't Yossi probably doesn't like seeing himself as a minus 11, but still overall had a solid season. That a lot had to do with his own teammates and forwards not playing good defense, I think that'll also come to harm Nashville. To me, just watching them, I obviously haven't watched every game they play, but watching some condensed games, listening to the different podcasts I listen to and following along on NHL Network and Sportsnet and TSN, um, they just don't play the most consistent defense through their forward core. I actually have confidence in Fabro's a great young defenseman. You have Ellis, you have Ekholm, you have Yoshi in the back end. For some reason, uh, Kunin, others, Hala plays very good defense. Duchesne's obviously not a great defender. Um, Victor Arvidsson's inconsistent. They just don't have enough. Gronlund's um, been all right on the 200-way um, player, but not very consistent this year. Richardson is that, but is 36 going on 37 now. So they don't have the consistency there, I don't think, either via their defensive forward. I think they're too inconsistent, let people get open. Just similar like to how <clears throat> the Flyers, who didn't make the playoffs, um, just let guys get open via their uh, forward court not playing good defense along with their defensive court. Nashville at least has a good defensive court, but their forward court allows too many guys to get open and leaves the goaltender exposed at times, which I think a team like Carolina that has Andre Svensikov, Marty Nakis, uh, Fogel, Pro Gathers, you have Sebastian Ajo, who's one of the best players in hockey. Uh, Tira Vinen, uh, Nita Riders played a good season. That's just going to be too much and too much speed, even with guys that haven't gone off this year like Jesper Fast. Um, to even take advantage of a struggling defense that's inconsistent at the forward core as well in the Nashville Predators. I think the Nashville Predators will take one from this series. I think it'll be a five-game series. The Carolina Hurricanes will win in five because UC Soros, I think, will steal a game and be able to take it for the Predators, but I don't think they have enough firepower. The penalty kill and power play are both ranked down in the 20s, as we already said, at 20. Fourth for power play and 29th for penalty kill, where the Hurricanes is at third for penalty kill and second for power play. Plus, they're very solid in five on five. They're a little bit above average five on five team and a great um, statistical special teams team. Where Nashville doesn't have that offensively, they're ranked in the 20s. 
in shots on goal and goals per game and shooting percentage. Uh, shots on goal, they're actually 14th. That's the only stat. They're not ranked in the 20s offensively. But other than that, they're towards the bottom tier of the league. Carolina's offense combined with their mighty defense, there's a reason why this team was up there along with Vegas and Colorado in the President's Trophy race because they're amazing. They're one of the most complete teams in the league. They were 5-2-3 and three around the season, a plus 43 in the season. They got a great put together, a great through and through team. The only thing that's going to harm them <clears throat> is if their defense, um, all this, or not their defense, if their goaltenders, along with some of their younger guys at the third part of their defense with the Gardeners, the Honkapa, start kind of getting exposed a little bit. But I don't see that happening in a Nashville series. I don't see a young goalie having his first time of getting exposed in the league against Nashville or one of their veterans getting exposed or their third line with the Gardner and Honkapa um, on their defense um, getting, or if they put Bean in, um, or if they put uh, Joachim Ryan or Joey Keane, I don't think he'll play and play one game, but any of those guys, I don't see their third defensive line uh, getting exposed at all against Nashville, so I think this will be a five-game series. If some guys stay banged up, though, that might be something to look at going forward because Gardner's not the most consistent on your third line. Honkapa played great, but how is he going to play mixed with Gardner? Um, so <clears throat> we'll have to see that going in. But I think that's just nitpicking and over nitpicking by me at that point because I think Carolina is one of the deepest teams in the playoffs. I think that's the only chance they'll have to honestly get out before the Eastern Conference Finals. I think this team is positioned to at least go to the Eastern Conference Finals. They're going to take this series in five over Nashville. I think your stars of the series are going to be Aho and Sveshnikov. But I do think if they decide to go within, this is the situation where you probably should just roll with your young hand, because Nedeljkovic has been money this year, along with uh, Vanacek as a rookie netminder. He's a big reason, and a big reason for keeping the team, um, just um, keeping them in the float of the President's race. We knew this team would make the playoffs, but keeping them in the float of being one of the best teams in all of hockey, how many people saw that? And Nedeljkovic having a 190 and a 932 is a big part of that. So I would roll with him, but if they roll with one of the veterans of Mrazek or Reimer, then they're fine too. They got potentially the best goalie system going in just because they got three. Do they have the best at one position out of those three? No, neither of those three are the best at their position, but since you have three good ones, that's better than having one great one in Vasilevsky on Tampa and they don't have the best backup, or one Vezina caliber, and then a guy in Leonard that is very good, but they just didn't play enough this year because of how good Flurry did. So they definitely have one of the best goalie trios coming in, not even Tandem and Carolina combined with the through and through team. They have of those great four lines, plus their great solidified defense, their great special team. That is going to be too much for Nashville, and like I said, they will win the series in five games. I hope you all enjoyed this series preview. I hope everyone stays safe and enjoys the NHL playoffs. I hope you all check out that NHL playoff hype video reacting to the first weekend of the NHL playoffs, full of a bunch of overtimes and a great end of the uh, regulation win by Tampa Bay there. It's been a great playoffs as far. Hopefully that continues in game one of this series. For the Nashville Predators and Carolina Hurricanes, stay safe, everybody. And as always, please like, comment, and subscribe. We appreciate your support. Peace out, everybody.